Dr. Peter Grinsman here discussing my upcoming book, Seeing Through the Smoke. In this book, I exhaustively discuss the different harms of cannabis, both real and imagined. I discuss all of the medicinal benefits in detail, but I also have a chapter on recreational or lifestyle uses of cannabis. This is a critically important reason why millions of people use cannabis, and I'm not discussing it in any way to promote or encourage the use of cannabis, but merely to just approach this issue from all sides. Historically, doctors haven't been allowed to discuss the benefits of cannabis. We've been under pressure from the war on drugs solely to emphasize the harms. Now, this section of my book is a little bit autobiographical, and I do want to mention I've also, this is some situations in which cannabis has helped me. I've also had plenty of unpleasant cannabis experiences as well. Um, but this is an excerpt from my book. Thank you. Uh, our humble narrator cannot truthfully deny that he's taken a puff or two in his time. For me, cannabis has always helped with my personal efficacy and with navigating some of life's thorniest issues. Cannabis enables me to organize my time more efficiently by helping me to prioritize my activities. After consuming, I often get a self-corrective injection of insight, which I write down or record. Later, when the weed wears off, I use this insight to help me more efficiently and meaningfully execute my work and life priorities. For example, when I'm using cannabis to help me write, if I get the dose right and when the stars align, it's nothing less than magical with a free flow of thoughts and ideas, better thoughts and ideas than I usually have that seem to come out of a now awakened part of my brain. It is always a race against time to get these thoughts down before they vanish, analogous to trying to remember a dream. Most importantly, I find can using cannabis is also like checking in with my true self. Being quote unquote stone can in essence be a deep state of mindfulness as time slows down and the present moment attains a profound intimacy. This is mixed in with heightened sensations, feelings of benevolence towards others, subtle euphoria and interesting thoughts. Cannabis has a self-corrective function as it forces me back in touch with my authentic self, even if this isn't always pleasant. It's like a truth serum, it is an antidote to the narcissistic, lazy, or selfish parts of my personality, the parts that get in the way of everything else that's important to me. It allows me to reconnect with who I wanna be and understand the ways in which I've been acting out of fear, insecurity, or selfishness. It gives clarity to my goals, whether they're interpersonal, professional, or existential. The first puff is like the moment one puts on 3D glasses at the start of a movie. My entire perspective changes and I could often better discern what about myself and others is sincere versus what is false and trivial. And then finally, cannabis sparks my motivation to exercise, makes me less oblivious about what needs to be done around the house, and makes me nicer and less judgmental, and gives me insights to the things I did wrong, or at least might have done better. When I use cannabis, I think about work-life balance and whether I'm doing enough to help the people around me. I replay interactions and conversations I've had. Could, have, could I have handled a particular situation with more empathy? Cannabis helps me process the experiences, interactions, and emotions of the day, and it fosters humility. Thank you very much for listening.